everyone, my name is Jordan and today we're going to making, be making some really cute handmade envelopes. So I learned how to make these from, I want to believe it was Natasha from Treasure Books, but it could have been Barbara from 49 Dragonflies, but I feel like it was Natasha. I'm going to find the video. It was like a video on like five or ten different ways to make handmade envelopes and this was by far my favorite. And so I want to make some with you guys today. So this is just a little prototype. It's all hand cut. There's no measuring. It's just some simple folds and cutting by hand. And you get these really fun, funky shapes. I absolutely adore them. This is made out of a book page. And I just inked it a little. And, and then, so I just want to make a couple here. And then I want to decorate them and just make them look really cute. So that is what we're going to be doing today. And I've got, you can probably see on the edges, a bunch of stuff out. And yeah so uh this book page it's kind of um funky here but that's okay it doesn't really need to be perfect because we're gonna fold it and i've got some bees already stamped on here from something but that's okay maybe we can make this a bee themed uh envelope and i actually got out some of my bee um washi tapes because i saw this and i'm like oh well you know, that can be my inspiration for this envelope. But I also want to make one out of a dictionary page. And then look at this gorgeous, yummy, dark brown tea stained paper. I also want to make an envelope out of this. So we're going to be making three envelopes today. I'm going to start with the book page. This one will obviously be smaller because the page that we're making it out of is smaller. So we are just going to... Fold this in, fold the other side in. Now you don't want to like overlap it and end up folding this twice. You just kind of want to bring it down so it covers it a bit. And it doesn't need to be perfect. I'm going to fold the sides in as well. Just a little bit, not as much. Otherwise, I mean you could, but like I said, it doesn't need to be perfect. The sides don't need to be the same size. The whole point of this envelope is the imperfection. All right. So now we're going to open it back up and, you know, you can decide which side you want your top and bottom to be. I want this to be my top. Then that way all of the writing is right side up, at least on this side. The back will be upside down, but that's okay. So basically we are going to cut all these corners out. So honestly what I like to do is I just kind of cut them, cut them out first. Just roughly, like I said, none of this needs to be perfect. Just so we kind of know what we're working with here. There are cats running all around. They're chasing each other. What are you guys doing? Alright, so we got all of our sides cut off, right? So this is going to be our envelope. Alright, but now we need to cut it down into its fun, funky shape. And all we're going to do is start down here at the bottom. And we're just going to kind of randomly... It. into a funky shape now these sides you don't want to cut them too deep or you're gonna have like I like to just kind of round the corners I don't try to cut too much off but we're just gonna kind of round them And then you can kind of fold these in and see what... Oh, I never did the bottom. Alright. So this is going to be our envelope. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just, with a little bit of vintage photo, I'm going to ink the edges 
because I like that look. Um, now this is going to come up so we don't need to ink the whole of these sides. Just kind of do the tops half. So if you cut this too shallow here, or like you cut way too much off, then you could potentially have like a gap here. So you don't want to, so depending on like how much, how far in you cut in the sides, I mean, I don't know, so you got to be a little careful. I've never done it wrong before, but never really messed it up. But, um, and then you can also decide, you know, if you want to do all these edges, you can do that as well. Or don't ink at all if that's not something you care for. Right? All right, so here is our first envelope. I think I'm going to make them all. So now we have all these scraps. And um, this one, okay, actually let's do this one first. I don't know why, do we care how it works? All right, so this one I'm gonna bring out. Bring this one down, and then bring the sides in. Open it up, we're gonna cut off our corners again. bottom one. This is going to be our top one. Okay. Once again, I'm just going to kind of lightly round these corners. Come in here. one I might try to not cut as much so I can kind of keep that nice yellow edge. We'll see how that turns out. This is going to be kind of a thin envelope because this is a dictionary page, but this guy looks. Oh yeah. See, so now he's a much bigger envelope than our last one. So obviously depending on the book page and how much you cut off or how much you fold in, like if I made these further in, our envelope would be skinnier. If I made these flaps, if I folded these in um, not as far in, our envelope would be taller. So, I mean, you can play around with the, how you want them to look and stuff. Um, so this is a decent size envelope. Once again, I'm gonna go in and ink these edges because I like to ink everything. So here is our next envelope. Obviously, well, I haven't glued them down yet either, but whatever, we'll just make these all, then we'll glue them all, and then we'll get to decorating. 
so this next one, this lovely dark. So I cook my, I uh, bake my papers in the oven. So that's how they get this dark. Um, it's amazing. I love it. I love cooking it in the oven. It's so funny because some people like hate tea staining, coffee dyeing, and they are all about the laziest, um, you know, trying to do it in the laziest way possible. But honestly, you just take some time and effort. You just get gorgeous paper like this. I love it. All right, anyways, so this one I want longer and skinnier. So I'm going to flip my page this way, you know, the dictionary page. Well, both of these ones we were doing the long way. And we are making these are this our top and bottom. This time we're gonna flip the page over this way, and we're gonna come up like this. The weather has been so crazy, guys. So I live in Wisconsin and you know, it's spring, it's April, and lately, like last all last week, we had like 70, 80 degree weather. And then all of a sudden, Monday, Sunday night, and all day Monday, 30 and snowing. Literally woke up and had to clean my car off. Was not particularly happy about that. And then it's been in like 40s and 50s. So Basically had summer for a week and then it went right back to winter. Got a little stance and you kind of get a little bit of everything here. And these lovely, lovely scraps. We can honestly probably use these to decorate each other. So, um, so this is going to be my top right here. I'm gonna ink and then this one probably barely even needs inking. It's such a dark, yummy color, but I don't think I'm gonna ink the outside edges. So perfect. So now we have three adorable envelopes and it's time to glue them. So I'm just going to glue, you know. There we go. Cool. Let's see what we got. Three different kinds of envelopes and they are adorable. So let's start decorating these guys. So this is one that's got bees on it. So let's I don't know, do some sort of bee thing. Uh, so some of the stamps I want to use, actually. So I bought two new sets recently. I finally invested in 
Field Notes and Correspondence by Tim Holt, Stampers Anonymous. In love with these stamps, been wanting them for a long time, and I finally, finally caved and bought them, and now I'm broke. <laughs> but yeah, so really happy to use these or to have these. Um, so maybe we'll use some of these field notes, and then I also have Nature Finds by Sam Poole, Creative Expressions, because this is kind of in the same vein as field notes. Um, and that's actually what this B is. I don't even remember why this B is stamped on here, but he is, so, and I want to say that's my fossilized in amber. So let's just kind of do some random, I, I think there's two Bs on here. Uh, yeah, there's a little itty bitty one too. He's really cute. So let's just kind of do some random B stamping in the background with this fossilized amber. I gotta clean this plate off. This looks like it's also got fossilized amber on it. Go. Put one of him like right there. Maybe down here. Okay. And then let's grab that little guy. Let's look at him. Oh yeah, he's cute. There we go. So we got some bees on him. And then what else? What else? I've got all kinds of washi tapes. Oh, look, he's a bee. It's kind of in this pinkest washi tape. I haven't opened this. I want to say these, all three of these washi tapes, I think I got from Stationery Pal. Or I guess flowers. Flowers and bees go together. Um, like I said, I also have this bee washi tape. Some of these are really cute. Um, Let's see, I've also got some digitals with some flowers as well. I can't remember. I'll have to look these up. Um, I don't know. Do we just want to go all yellow or is that like too much yellow? I mean, there's a lot going on here that's not yellow. Will this even fit on here? Like, these are kind of tall for this envelope. So maybe not these. Um... Oh, also, I, I kind of, I saw the bee on this, and I was already kind of preparing for doing a bee-themed one. This keeps falling off, just, um, so that, which is why I kind of got some of this stuff out. But I also dug out these, which, I mean, these are from uh, taking out doilies um, with die cuts or whatever, and this is the, like, the negatives or whatever. And uh, this one's really cute. We could somehow incorporate, but once again, this envelope is so small. I guess I could try to find the doilies themselves. Hang on a sec. Here's the actual doilies. These are kind of cute. We could use one of these. It kind of blends in though. It needs something in the background. We have these, these um, scraps. That still kind of blends too much. Um, what about? Hmm, I don't know. I don't know. I guess I could layer. No, it's it's two similar colors. I don't know. We could kind of do like a strip of this, kind of tear it up. Maybe tear some more of it up so it's not so long. Could put that on there or even down here with a flower or some greenery. I also have like some random washi stickers. I don't even remember where I got these. So we could just like slap one of those bad boys on. He's got a little bit of pink and stuff. It's kind of pretty. 
even something like that. Add some color to there. What else do I have over here? Pretty leaf that's a little too fall. Get a little red in there. Hmm. Well, I guess this is like kind of pink and then we can add other touches of pink. Let me open this up. Oh. So there's that. Could just kind of put him on there. It's pink. It's this pinkish color though, but then we could add more pink elements. I guess I'm just slapping it down. This is happening. We gotta start making these decisions. There's that. Oh, where'd this come from? I also love this. I don't know. These labels are from the Junk Journal Studio. These are kind of new, I just cut some out. Or maybe I should try to find, I got some like pink, shoot, that's kind of long, but. Honestly, I kind of like that. Actually, I should be making a mess. I've made a mess. Where is this guy? Just so I, don't think. I had to cut these out myself, so I just want to make sure there's no white edges. That's really cute. I think I like that. Got at least two pinks in there. There we go. A really cute envelope. I'm not going to do the back, I don't think. At least not in this video. So there we go. Our bee themed book page envelope. Super adorable. Could even add, um, you know, a little pocket back here or just embellish it, stamp on it. I guess I didn't even really use any stamps. Actually, hang on. Let's just uh, grab this figure one stamp. I've lost my stamping block. Oh, it's over here. It's still got a B on it. Put him with the other B. Pretty sure this is figure one. And let's just grab some black soot because it's there. Figure one, and we'll just put that here. Bam. B is our finger, fig, ugh, figure one. There we go. There's a little bit of stamping. Not that we need to stamp. You don't always have to stamp. 
but I did get out my stamps. I guess we stamped all the bees in the background. All right, I'm gonna clean up a little bit and get ready to do the next envelope. Oh, I've never used any of this washi. Next time, we'll just have to do a bee themed. Summer's coming, the bees are coming. We'll do more bee stuff and I'll use my bee washies. Um, all right. Like I said, I am gonna clean up and get ready for the next one. All right, we're back and it's really not that much more cleaned up, but it is what it is, all right? And I kind of prepared some things. So I have this flower. This is a die cut set that I have. It comes with these three different flowers and this little tiny circle center. Um, and so I just alternated cutting them out with book page and tea stained paper, book page, tea stained paper and I inked them. It was very tedious. I actually made a bunch of these um, a while ago, and they're really cute. Um, uh, and when I say tedious, I mean the inking. The inking, trying to delicately ink them without ruining them, because they're just thin book pages and copy paper. But um, so, and then there's just a little Brad in here, and I thought he would be really cute on our envelope, so he will go in here and flip up and stuff, and I thought we'd take Maybe some paper, layer it. I also took out one of these really cute green doilies because I'm thinking about doing some stamping in green in the background. Um, peeled off some uh, faux stamp. I don't know. Uh, so then I was thinking we could also, I have washi tape. I've got uh, these guys. I also just have some plain grid that I could kind of layer back here potentially. Um, yeah, not sure yet. I want to do the stamping first though. And yeah, so I think I want to start off by stamping like a big, um, one of these flowers or something on here. I could just kind of like take this it's not quite big enough. Or I could just take this big leaf and yeah, let's Yep, him. I'm gonna grab out uh, this guy. Um, and I think what do I want to do this in? I'm thinking hmm, maybe peeled paint. Let's try this guy. And do I, am I just, what am I doing? I don't even know. Bam. Oh, I should have pressed harder. It's fine, it's background stamping. Um, I need like just a little bit of scrap paper and then maybe we'll kind of come in and stamp there. Maybe come in over here. What else? Anything else? There's also just like these guys. Maybe we come in with a slightly different color. Uh, Rustic Wilderness. And then also, oh, I think I still want this. Okay, I, I said I wanted to use my new stamps and I haven't really been using my new stamps, have I? Okay, let's get out this guy. And I'm thinking also Rustic Wilderness for this as well. We're going green. Cool, huh? I guess this is my new stamping scrap. Um, what else? I feel like, well, what are we doing? Do we need to kind of plan this out a little more? I'm pretty much completely covering this thing up, but 
Okay, so that's going to go there, and we're going to have this potentially down here. Ooh, what's this? More green. Ooh, I think I kind of like that. Kind of have a little collage in here for more green elements. And then this. And then we can have... What do we need down there? We need... Something. Something long. Maybe just like shipment collect. Right down here. Sure. What color though? Do we keep with the green or do we need more brown? Otherwise, this is sort of our only brown element. So, where is Brown Espresso? more brown elements right so this is going to be something like that maybe like a number How about this big 785 and i think i will also do that in brown just to try to even it out and then so there's not really like random there we go there we go. Ooh. Um, anything else? This is already pretty cute. Maybe I bring out my splatter stamp. What color though? What are we splattering? More green or just, no, it's right here. It's open. so all right let's get let's <laughs> i don't know how to stay organized is there such a thing as being organized while crafting okay so i think this oh i guess i could just no let's, let's, let's tear it oh uh, my god glue 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 And then, do we want some of this washi tape? I don't think I've used this one yet. Where's the stuff? There it is. And then I just need to poke a hole where I want this guy to be, which I'm thinking, where is this going to work?
there we go. I think I'm going to take a bit of this washi and just help to secure that down a bit. But, ooh, and I need a little bit of art glitter. It's not art glitter. Quit calling it art glitter glue. Everyone on YouTube has art glitter glue, so it's just a habit to call it art glitter glue. Okay, look at our adorable envelope. I love this one. I love the greens. I love the browns. Ah, all right. On to the next one. All right, I sort of picked out some things just because I don't want the video to be too long. Um, but I thought we could... This one's so, like... It's kind of busy, even busier than like book page because the text is so much smaller. It's so much closer together. So there's so much more text on the page. So I feel like it's kind of hard and maybe like it doesn't need as much. So I was thinking about just kind of tearing off some page down here, just kind of layering something. I don't know. Do I need to tear this too? So I'm going with this red theme and I don't really have a good red ink to like stamp with unfortunately because um, I would love to do some stamping in red. All I have is crackling campfire and it's more orange. I guess I could test it out and just see how it looks with these reds but I feel like it's gonna clash. I feel like it's gonna come off way too orange but we'll see. All right, so that's gonna go down here. This I think is just gonna kind of come up here. Uh, yeah, I wish I had a red stamp or red ink, but I don't. But let's at least glue this down. Um, I can't find anything. I really should be doing this on a page. Here's me testing out all of my stamps, my new Tim Holtz stamps. Let's go on the back. I don't know where that go. Where did it go? Once again, the, the, uh, this label is from the Junk Journal Studio on Etsy. I'll try to link her shop down below. She's got some really cute labels. I believe this is also, um, this is from like the red labels. So you actually have to buy um, the different colors, but worth it. I've got the red, green, and blue. Glue down. Um, what else? Do we need anything else? Um, I was gonna test out crackling campfire, but I think it's gonna be too orange. Let's get out this dictionary page and just a number and just see what it will look like. Ooh, yeah, see, gross. Uh, I mean, it's a nice color if you're doing orange, but 
not with these reds. Nope. 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 Okay, we tried. Um, will anything else even show up? I guess what I could do is sort of make labels and do it in like a black or a brown. Like I could take um this edge and like you know put it on here somewhere stamp on top of it in black so it kind of stands out a bit now i kind of wish i'd put this whole strip underneath um but that's okay um this could just kind of hang out up here and we could stamp on it what i do i just want this number do we want something else what else do we have what is the theme of this envelope? There isn't really a theme. It could honestly put anything on it. it um, that's too big. I could... Uh, here we go. Airmail. Is this gonna fit? It's like just gonna fit. What, what did I say? Black? Or should I do it in brown? Brown Espresso's right here. Could go up there. Do I have that's got a little bit of red on it? It's so far away though. Could just oh, I ripped it. That's okay. I think that's okay. We're gonna just put that on there. Actually, gonna cut off some of this white. And we'll just put that on. Uh, glue. Still can't find the glue. I already got rid of my glue page, of course. I think that's that one. Okay, I'm going to clean up this mess and we're going to look at the final um, results of our three envelopes. Alright guys, uh, and by clean up I meant just shove everything off to the side. <laughs> but these are our three envelopes. This was our first one made out of a book page. We stamped little yellow bees all over it because there was already a bee stamped on there for some reason. Um, and then we've got yeah, I don't, random stuff. Faux postage stamps, some scrap, craft paper, some labels. Um, looking at this, and yes, all of the labels that I used today were from the Junk Journal Studio. So, um, here, I'll just quickly show you. This is just a handful. This is both the red and the, I don't know, the regular, the regular labels. They're all kind of browns and blacks, but... They are lovely. These are just the red and the, and like the regular ones, like I said, but, um, so those are all the labels that I used today. If you guys are interested, I will link, uh, her Etsy shop down in the description below, but yep, this was the first envelope we made. Super cute. Then we made this gorgeous tea stained envelope. And it's kind of nature themed. We've got some plants stamped all over here. Got this beautiful die cut flower that I made off camera. Um, I just have these lying around. And just some random collaging and stamping. Super cute. Didn't We didn't do the backs, but that's alright. And then this last one was just kind of more random collaging. It's really no theme, just the red and I think it's adorable i love all of these let me know what you guys think down below and uh yeah i will see you guys in the next video goodbye